back. So, all right, welcome to Maine and bug season. Uh, we're just gonna do a little video for you guys today and we're gonna throw some uh, M855. This is the Lake City stuff. You can see it's annealed and uh, you can see the annealing right there. Basically, we're gonna stack this stuff up next to a regular 223 Remington, just a regular 55 grain full model jacket 20, 223 Remington. So this is the 556 uh, by 45 uh, Lake City. Uh, M855. So we're going to just see how these two stack up. If you don't know what the M855 is, uh, that's not really what this video is about. Uh, it's just to see how it performs. But basically stated, it's a uh, military like penetrator round. So it's got uh, a little bit of steel in there. And and uh, so, yeah. But anyways, this isn't an informational video about the M855. It's just to see how it stacks up for the average everyday backyard scientist. Uh, we got some stuff lined up. We're going to shoot some metal with it and see how these two do. We're going to do some 50-yard accuracy testing. Uh, we're we're gonna do uh, shoot a baseball bat. We're gonna shoot a uh, golf club. I don't really play golf, so that's about what I use golf clubs for. And uh, rotor to a, vid uh, a uh, video, a uh, rotor to a vehicle. So uh, we're gonna see how it does. So anyway, enough of that talking. Let's take this stuff. Let's take that uh, mini 14 there, and let's do some shooting. Alrighty, three rounds. M855 ammo at 50 yards. Let's uh, see what kind of accuracy they give us. Not going for anything precise, just want to see what we got. Regular 223 Remington, 50 yards. See what she does. All right. Let's go check her out. Alrighty, here we are down at 50 yards, and uh, I guess I'm shooting a little left. I mean, all the rounds are on target, but basically speaking, you've got this guy, this guy, and this guy were the M855, this guy, this guy, and this guy were the 223 Remington. Yeah, so basically we knew we could do a whole lot better than that, so went ahead and adjusted the sight a little bit to the right, uh, kind of recentered, went back to 50 yards, and here's what we came up with. Alrighty guys, so I had to bump the sight a little bit right after the uh, shots earlier. We're a little bit off to the left, so seems to be shooting better. So an attempt at redemption. I'm going to try, I've got three of each, the M855 and the 223 loaded. And uh, I'm going to try for a little shot at redemption at another group here. I'm going to be a little cocky and try headshots, but I probably won't get them. But either way, I'm going to try for uh, the six shots on this little silhouette out there at 50 yards. Alrighty, that is a whole lot better. And the groups actually are very consistent between the two rounds, as it would appear, which is kind of surprising. Alrighty, M855 on a baseball bat, aluminum. Let's see what she does. Okay, regular 223 Remington on aluminum bat, about 20 yards. Let's see what we got. Alrighty, little 223 Remington. We'll do a second shot with this. See what we get. First one just kind of grazed it. Alrighty, let's go have a look. Alrighty, so here we are, down 20 yards at the bat. This is the one where I grazed it a little bit right here. And then these guys over here. Oddly enough, so this is your 223 Remington hole. This is your m855 hole and as you get right in there you can see this one actually has some this kind of weird like spalling that popped out of the back here and as we come around or out of the front i'm sorry and as we come around to this side uh 223 remington m855 which the m855 is actually by what i can see got a bigger exit hole but they both punch clean through Odd that it would have a bigger exit hole, so I don't know. Maybe some of you experts out there can tell us why. This is a decent bat, by the way. I mean, this is this is not a, a light-duty bat. So, basically, backyard science has shown me today that uh, the 223 and the 556 
uh, we'll pop right through that, no problem. So, with the M855s. So, all right, on to the next thing. Let's see what it does to a golf wedge club. I think that's what it is. Anyway, solid metal. Let's shoot it. All right, M855, golf club. Let's see if we can get it right on the end there. I think we hit it. Alrighty, 223 Remington. Golf club. All right, let's go see how they stack up. Alrighty, so we've got our number eight with, like I said, whatever this is, wedge. I mean, this is a decent club. I mean, she's pretty thick. You can see some of the metal spalling up in there. But yet again, so this was the M855 round here. This was the 223 Remington here. So here's your entrance. You can see it moved quite a bit of metal when it went through there. Here's your exit. Now this is definitely giving us a, the M855 is giving us a cleaner exit hole, but I'm seeing that 55 grain full metal jacket of the 223 punching right through. Alrighty, and for our final test today, we're gonna shoot one of each of the rounds and see what it does. So just so you see, this is a very thick steel. This is an old rotor off from uh, one of the cars. And uh, so, I mean, it's super heavy, I mean, for those of you who don't know what a rotor is, if you're watching this channel, you probably do, but just in case you don't, uh, this is what's uh, inside of your, your wheel, inside of your, you know, behind your tire, that if you have caliper brakes, this is what your brakes ride on to stop your vehicle. So, super hard, super thick. Let's see what the 223 versus the M855 does on this vehicle rotor. Alrighty, M855 on a vehicle rotor. Well, I see my hole. Looks like it might have gone straight through. Let's check it out. Alrighty, folks. Well, here we are. We just shot the M855 round. This is about 20 yards out. I honestly don't know what it's going to look like on the back. We're going to find out together. And look at that. Little hole right through it. One of good ways into our log. So, I actually was not expecting that. So, let's uh, flip this sucker over. And let's try it with a 223 Remington full metal jacket. Let's see what we get. Alrighty, standard 223 Remington. Let's see what she does on that rotor. Nice. Looks like we hit right where we wanted. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, so here we are. Got to M855 down here. Got your 223 up here. And as I can see, the 223 actually did not go through. Left a nice big entrance hole. I can actually see the round cocked off sideways. Not sure if we can get that or not. Got the cameraman trying here. But it's, it's stuck in there. Did not go all the way through. Heck of a bulge in it. Came really close. But there we have it. That's where the M855, I guess, stands aside from the 223. So we finally got to the end of that burning question, which I guess is what it's designed to do is if you're shooting at a vehicle or something like that, uh, for those uh, boys downrange, uh, you want to have that penetration power. So it gives you just that little bit of an extra edge. It's, it's definitely not armor piercing because the AP rounds are, are black tip. Uh, always have been as far as I know. So... Yeah, that green tip is just a little bit better at penetration. So there we go, proof positive. I guess we kind of proved it here with our uh, backyard science test. So uh, there we have it. All right, guys. Well, hey, uh, thanks for watching. It's always great to have you along on these little tests. And uh, we really appreciate you guys. So have a good one. And uh, we'll see you. So until next time. I know. I'm crossing the line again, falling on my knees.